this is the working man's DIY five guitar wall hanger. I designed and built this wall hanger for my guitars two years ago. I didn't have hard cases for my guitars and needed a safe place to store them. Initially I thought about building a floor rack but really needed the free space and a little more safety for my guitars. A wall hanger seemed ideal with one exception. My current residential lease does not allow me to tap wall studs. To get around this, I use the power of Hercules hooks in the drywall. I hope this video helps guitarists in apartments at least homes and anybody who actually um, needs to build their own rack to save the money. I completed this project for less than maybe $25. So necessity aside, you'll play more if you keep your guitars visible and accessible. I mean, think about it. If you put your guitars in hard cases in the closet, they're going to stay there. Keeping your guitars out and on the wall, you think about playing them every time you walk into the room. And besides, I find a wall of guitars to be very decorative, especially if you know how to play. All right, here are the tools and supplies I used to build the guitar hanger. One six foot long two by six. Four 50 pound Hercules hooks, four one to one and a half inch screws, one small drill bit, four D ring wall mounts, five screw in tool hangers, a pin, a measuring tape, a level, and a drill. All right, for my specific wall hanger, I wrapped the two by six in fabric and used a staple gun to tie it down, but that was just decoration that is completely not necessary. Okay, to get started, begin by laying your 2x6 on the floor and marking your measurements. Across the center of the 2x6, start 6 inches from the left and mark the first site to screw in the first tool hanger. Then measure 15 inches to the right and mark the second site. Continue 3 more times. Drill pilot holes for the tool hangers at each site. Flip the 2x6 over and measure four equidistant points across the back of the 2x6 for the D-ring wall mounts. You want the measurements for the D-ring wall mounts to be about one inch from the top of the 2x6. When you're done with that, go ahead and drill the pilot holes for the one inch screws. Once you've drilled the pilot holes, the wood can be stained or painted. I chose to wrap mine in fabric because it was simple and quick and I think it added aesthetic value to the room. All right, I think it's a good idea to go ahead and lay everything out before putting it all together, just to see if everything looks right and to make sure you have everything handy. Then put it together. You'll want to attach the D-ring mounts to the two by six first, then flip it over and screw in the tool hangers. Then voila, you've built a working man's wall hanger for five electric guitars. Now, <laughs> to mount it to the wall. You'll want to select a wall that doesn't get too much traffic and measure a hole pattern to match your D-rings. Make sure to level your hole line on the wall. Mark the measurements and make tiny pilot holes for your 50 pound Hercules hooks. Then insert your Hercules hooks into the wall and position them properly. Then pick up your guitar hanger and gently hang it on the Hercules hooks combining the D-rings with the Hercules hooks. Then slowly, <laughs> and I mean slowly, add your guitars. After letting the hanger set for about a minute or two, it'll be solid. This wall hanger is rated for 200 pounds, which is more than enough strength than to hold five guitars. Is that much strength required? Probably not, but better safe than sorry. I mean, it's your guitars. You decide. Of course, the project can be scaled for more or less guitars. Alright, this guitar wall hanger has hung on my wall for two years. It held basses, electrics, acoustics, and even a didgeridoo. It's been rock solid. I've gotten a lot of value out of this project, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you get that much value out of your project. Thanks for watching.